I am Logie Govender from All Mutual Corporate Consulting, and I welcome you to the ISASA Retirement Webinar. The webinar covers the psychology of retirement, legal aspects that members should be aware of, and finally, options available when purchasing a pension in retirement. As Executive Director of ISASA, I'm exceptionally proud of the ISASA Pension Scheme and Provident Fund for the quality and range of the affordable benefits it offers our membership. The Independent Schools Association of Southern Africa is the largest, oldest, and most representative independent schools association in the region, serving 850 member schools across a broad range of fees, which employ 15,000 teachers, and we educate more than 200,000 pupils. ISASA is a non-profit organization that works tirelessly to provide its members with services to protect their interests, promote best practice, and support quality education. Hi there. We are here to talk about uh, retirement and the aspect that is least covered um, prior to getting there. And that is the psychological part of it. Most people think the hard part about retirement is um, the money. And for many it is. But the uh, adjusting, getting your mind right, that's huge. And so the question is whether you see it as the beginning or the end, sunrise or sunset. And that's the key decision that will determine the quality of the rest of your life in retirement. When you look at retirement, the issue we are talking about is pursuing successful retirement, not sitting around in a chair drinking Coke and watching uh, television. I mean, I, that may be successful for some people, but for most it isn't. There's a whole range of things. and. If you look at the camels on the right, your eye is drawn to, the, to, to them, but in fact those are not camels, those are shadows. What look like little white pigs are in fact the real camels. And retirement, I think one can say with a lot of confidence, is not what you expect, okay? And uh, I found this quote from James Michener, it was in a book called Caravans, and it said we are never prepared for what we expect. And beware of that, because that's what causes a tremendous amount of uncertainty and happiness with, with people, is expecting that retirement's just going to slot into place, everything's going to be fine. For many of us, starting a new job was not comfortable, and this is starting a new job and a new life. Today, I will be sharing with you a presentation about a very dynamic aspect of financial planning. This is estate planning. Through the presentation, reference will be made to the estate planner or the planner. This would be the member of the ISASA Pension or Provident Fund who requires a will or an estate plan and to whom the suggestions and recommendations are directed to. The question is often asked, why estate planning? And the answer is, because life happens. As you can see from the slide, there are various events that take place in a person's lifetime. Each of these events has a financial impact on the person's life, be it marriage, a divorce, retirement, and careful and professional planning needs to be given. There is a misconception that estate planning is about the making of a last will and testament or it's an exercise about savings on estate duty. These are but only a part of the estate planning process. In fact, estate planning is about preserving, growing and protecting one's assets. As a parting shot, I would like to say, don't be a statistic. Make the time to put an estate plan and a will together. Define your wishes and remember, to review and update regularly. Nearing retirement can be a daunting period for a lot of people. 
And one of the big decisions that you're faced with is converting the lump sum or the retirement capital that you've accumulated into a pension or a monthly income that lasts the rest of your lifetime. So that's what this talk is about today. The first thing is that it's important to realize why this is such an important issue. If you look at this graph here, it's really just a breakdown of retirement savings and the journey towards retirement. But what's very important about this graph is that what it shows you is that the actual amount that you're going to spend in retirement is made up of a few important pieces. The first is the contributions that you've made. The second is the investment return on those contributions. And then importantly, the final component is the investment return that you're, that you're making after retirement. So one of the common questions that people ask is how much is enough capital? How much do I need to be able to actually buy a pension that's going to look something similar to my, to my salary? On this graph I've just got, or on this chart, I've just got an, a couple of examples. The first at the top is a single female, and each of the circles here represents one annual salary. So in other words, if you're earning 500,000 Rand a year, each block here is 500,000 Rand. And th this just illustrates the amount of capital relative to your annual salary that you're going to need to be able to have a comfortable retirement. And by comfortable retirement, we're talking about a pension that's about 70% of what you were earning while you were working. The other question that's really important is what is the real objective of retirement? It's not a lump sum at age 65 or age 60. That's not what people need in terms of their retirement savings. So a lot of people fixate or focus a lot on the capital that they've got, but actually that's not the important amount. What's important, obviously, is an inflation-linked income to last them the rest of their lifetime. It's also not leaving money to beneficiaries, because in general, your beneficiaries should be fairly self-sufficient by the time you get to retirement. And yet a lot of people talk about the bequest motive as a reason for, cert for buying a certain type of annuity, when actually that's not the primary reason why you've been saving for your entire working career.